Now people always ask me, what equipment do I need? What do I need to do self-massaging or uh, trigger point massaging? Well, let me tell you, the kind of stuff that you need is very, very simple, it's inexpensive. You need a rather large ball like that, there you can buy them from a $2 shop. Uh, they're very good for rolling and very good for uh, squeezing. That's the big one. The second one is also a ball that I got from a $2 shop. It's uh, not as hard as the other one. It's not as big, but it's also very good. And this is a little star, also foamy type of setup. It's very good for squeezing, strengthening that, uh, that wrist and the forearm. Then, of course, you move on to your tennis ball, which we'll know about them. And then we move on to something a little bit more harder, which is uh, your golf ball. The golf ball is very good for rolling. Um, or lying on it or putting your back on it and of course last but not least we've got our hockey ball or a cricket ball and that's my favorite because it's very very hard and you can get into areas especially deep tissue areas where you normally wouldn't get into with your thumb or with your hand or if you haven't got a friend or a masseur that can get his elbow in so these are the five of the best pieces of equipment that you can get inexpensive and they will do the trick and of course we should never ever forget a good old massage oil that we can get from the supermarket it's a baby oil it's good for massaging to use with all of these five balls so go and get them have some fun and uh, believe me you'll uh, you'll enjoy the benefits and in the next section we'll talk about how to use them properly hey thanks for stopping by please subscribe to solutions central tv and we'll see you in the next episode bye for now